Hey guys, welcome back! I have a beautiful Maleficent Inspire filter tutorial for you today, which I think it's the perfect autumn filter since Halloween is just around the corner. So today we're gonna learn how to recreate the iconic Maleficent black horns and her magnificent wings, which are the two predominant features of her look, as well as we will try to remake her beautiful makeup style with those very mystical purple smoky eyes and ruby red lips. And we will also add those gorgeous green piercing eye lenses and finish it all by recreating a very magical atmosphere, working with emitters and by adding particles. So we're gonna have those very mystical pixie light floating around. So let's jump right into it and let's start with a new project. But before we start, please remember to subscribe if you didn't yet and click the notification bell because I will keep uploading a lot of very fun and original Sparky Art tutorials. So if you like this type of videos, don't miss out and join the family. And now let's start with the tutorial. And for today's effect, I'm gonna suggest you to use the head decoration template and I'm gonna tell you why in a second. So I prefer to use this template because this includes the um, head occluder and if you're not aware of what it is, basically the head occluder allowed us to give a more realistic um, effect to any head decoration because uh, for instance this head accessories you cannot see the back because the head occluder um, automatically turn invisible whatever it's supposed to be hidden by your head so if we didn't have the head occluder we will most likely see the back of these um, head accessories anyway let's jump right into this um, tutorial and uh, see it's very easy to follow the templates the sparky R provide you with because uh, literally you just have to read the instructions so where you see delete me you also have this pop-up window so they are making so easy for absolute beginners to navigate throughout this software we're gonna delete the object first just to make more clean our scene and voila it automatically disappear and then we need to insert our horns so let's go into the ER library um, import from library just type wherever you're looking for so horns then you can click view all and you see you have a wide variety so just pick wherever you found to be more interesting or you know you like it most I'm gonna choose this first right here for my project so just click import free and you can see in the little corner down here there is uploading okay done you can close this window and here you have your horns so you can keep these folders closed to make more clean and organize your scene but of course you need to see what's inside right because we need to work with stuff so let's change model first because you know I prefer to work with females for this type of effect we can close even this window uh, we want to click and drag the horns block into right here where I say drag here so basically this is a child of the face tracker and as you can see you end up having these very large looking 3d horns into your scene so we need to rescale them and uh, we can do so in our right panel so they are by default set to 1 so we're gonna downsize them to 0 0.2 I think it's enough if you're not sure you know how to resize object just play around with numbers until you figure it out you know that's how you learn right making lots of mistakes so Okay, they look much better already, but maybe, I'm not sure, maybe let's do 0 0.18. Okay, much better. So what I would suggest you to do at this stage is because our preview video 
models moves constantly and that's the only things that really annoys me when I work with Sparky R, they move too much. Which is handy of course to test your filter in most occasions but sometimes like now when you need to reposition object and you need to work with precision it's more a problem than helpful. So let's switch camera. I can close this down right here. And now you can see yourself replacing the um, built-in um, preview video. So this way is much easier to work, of course, when repositioning um, object. So you can use these three icons right here now to move your object around. So of course, the first one, as I already showed you in other tutorials, is to move it um, right and left and up and down or forwards backwards so as you can see if I bring my horns backwards do you see they kind of disappear into my head the um, the base this is because we are working with the head occluder so as I told you this give a much more realistic um, you know effect to your filter because it looks like literally they're coming out your head they are stick to your head so it's much prettier and I follow your head movement much better than you just using a face tracker alone because if you use a face tracker without head occluder first of all you can see the base uh, you know of your horns and you kind of have a space between your head and the horns so it's not very realistic so from this stage, I want to move them. I really like to work mostly with this middle icon right here. I'll show you why. So always make sure you select the right object you're working with. So horn selected. And we have these spheres that allowed us to inclinate our horns the way we like. So I like them a bit more straightforward just like so and then you can also see inclinate them side by side so you have literally full control so I think they are okay just like that I like the size they're quite big because of course they have to be a statement kind of accessory and they seems following my movement quite well maybe I put them a bit more like they come out from the side of my head, just like that. Should we make them slightly smaller maybe? Okay, from this stage what we want to do is of course change the color and uh, work with the um, material of our horn. So go back into your asset and select the horn material. Make sure it's set to physically based. This gives us uh, the metallicness effect, you know, and the roughness. So metallic uh, has to be always maximized and roughness pretty down. Then we can change color by clicking this little square right here and we want them black, of course. And then we want to remove this texture down here because we want them pitch black and very sparkly. And one more thing we can do is to go a bit downward and uh, found the environment which is already checked. And we have this default environment texture, we want to remove it. And voila, you already have a much darker horn effect. But we want to have them more sparkly, more glittery, you know. So we're gonna import a new texture, search here library, and we're gonna select the studio environment texture. And can you see how much more sparkling they are just by changing, you know, the texture? So what you can do is play with the rotation. 
See, for example, I love how the lights hit on the inner side of my horn. This give more dimension. You can do the same on the other horn. And we can also go down into the render options and we can click alpha. If for instance you click add, look what happened. Invisible. Isn't it cool? You can have invisible horns. And also by clicking subtract, you can have black invisible horns. So you can really play around with your blend mode as well. And you can also go back into your color square and play with the colors. You can make them uh, fuchsia, blue, green. You can really play around as much as you want. Let's go back to black. Or as I've teach you in previous tutorials, you can play around with the environment texture. So um, let's substitute this one. We can remove this texture and search in the library for a new one. Let's try with a city texture. And as you can see, you have a complete different material effect. So they look very silvery. So they are much brighter, you know, with this environment texture and you can really play around, you know, with colors uh, which show much brighter, of course. So you can have a pastel, lilac, metallic horns, very ethereal or, you know, white, metallic, aqua, gold. You can really play around as much as you want, as always. But you know, we want to recreate the Maleficent look. So let's go back into the black and let's go back to the studio light. And there you have it. This is how you recreate those beautiful black Maleficent horns. And now you can just have fun and test it on a different video preview and see how they look on different users. One extra thing we can do to enhance even further our effect is um, to add some rotation light so click add object and uh, insert directional light so you always have one already pre-installed on each new project you open by default so by adding a second one you have two lights and you can always rename them so right and left just to make clear for yourself and so let's change perspective you can see your two lights right here so you can uh, of course adjust the position and i just want my lights to hit my horns of course to give that extra shine you know once you have your two lights uh, just show patch editor you already have some patches because we are working um, on a template so from here we want to look for the loop animation patch then click and drag from progress and look for transition patch and then highlight your first light and show the rotation patch and do the same for the left light rotation and you just want to adjust the end value to 360 on x and y and connect this patch to the two lights and as you can see 
both lights are rotating now and creating a nice shine effect. We want to make them slower. There we go. Even more slow or super fast. It's up to you. I like to use three seconds. And one last thing we can do is to select some color for our lights. So right now we have white lights, but you can play with colors even here. And see, now if you select pink, you have a beautiful pink reflection. You can choose another color for the other light or you can intensify uh, the first light you selected with extra pink and you can see now I stand out even more. See the difference? Or you can choose red, wherever you want. Alright, so now that we have our gorgeous black and shiny horns in place, we want to complete the Maleficent look by adding a gorgeous set of black wings, just as you can see in the movie. So to do that, so let's just go into the library and type the keyword wings, click view all and just scroll down until you found a pair of wings that really speak to you. Um, I think I'm gonna go with this one, import free, click done and close this window. Now we have our um, wings right here, Fallen Angel, and we can click and drag them into the face tracker, just like so. From this stage, we can just reposition them, so you can use these tools right here to rotate and literally just drag up and down, or you can use your um, inspector panel and just you know, scale your wings with um, specific values. So we can maybe increase the size to four. Let's try it. Okay, much better. Then position, I want to keep this value right here at zero because I want them centered. And maybe let's try minus 0.2 six a bit lower so let's increase the value and you just kind of play around you know with numbers until you found the perfect position of your wings and then this value right here we can do zero point five 0.2 okay they are perfectly moving they look very well and for smaller adjustment maybe a bit lower so let's do this 0.9 just like so you can move your um, laptop camera a bit farther of course to see you know the wings in all their glory and see how they actually look you know big um, on your body and this seems just a little bit off in terms of rotation so I prefer to use this tool right here you just want to rotate them a little bit so as you can see they're very very big just like so okay perfect they look very very good they really follow you know our body movement so they are working just beautifully I love even the size this seems very nice and they're pretty well centered let me just fix them a little better and maybe a teeny tiny bit more downwards. Lovely. 
Okay. I really like them. I just want to adjust the colors. I don't like this, of course, kind of a cryptic uh, red writing on it. I want them pitch black, just like Maleficent wings. So let's adjust the color. We can go back into our Fallen Angel wings right here and we should found the material. If you keep your wings material selected, you can work on your inspector panel and for instance, you can tweak to the max your metallicness and you can see you already achieve a much darker and more dimensional kind of um, color. Then you can also adjust your roughness and you know, Play like that this way you're gonna make pop even further you know the red details which we want to eliminate i really don't like those red uh you know decorative um writings here wings sg base color we can remove the texture completely so we can adjust the color by using our color wheel and you can just pick any color you like you know, we want to stay on the dark family, so actually even dark purple, they're very, very cool. I like them. And we can actually keep them dark purple. I really like them. Okay, then we can keep tweaking a little bit the metallicness and the roughness. You know, this will um, show more the details of the singular feathers. And you can also play with the blend mode. So you see, you can make them transparent, you know, by clicking add. Um, then you have alpha, associate alpha is a new feature. The Sparky R recently add, which is to keep colors more authentic and screen. So I will say, let's keep to um, alpha. We can check the environment and add the texture to give a bit more um, shine to it. So we can try the studio texture. You know, this step, it's all about experimenting. So what I would suggest you is to just play around with your inspector panel until you achieve the desired effect. For instance, you know, if you play with the roughness, you can make your wings much more shiny and uh, more like plasticky looking, which they match better with my horns because, you know, we have very shiny horns. And so we want to give some sort of harmony, you know, to our um, accessories and make them look like they belong together. And so I think they look much better, a bit more shiny. And, you know, this is my version of the Maleficent look. So of course, um, it's Maleficent look inspired. So play with the roughness and the metallicness, you know, you can see how much better or worse they look. And then we can go back down and uh, see you can again uh, experiment with the environment texture. So we have the studio now and you can see the shine change as I rotate my environmental texture. See, I kind of like when the light hits right here on top of my wings because it give a more three-dimensional look to it. See the difference? They are very flat and plain like this, but just like so, I really like them. If we try to switch, for instance, the environment texture from studio to city, you see that you have a completely different effect once again. This looks almost like bronzy black. So I preferred much more the studio environment texture and keep my rotation just up here. Voila. I really like them. Now, they look so much bigger on the project um, area down here. It's so cool though. 
Okay, great. I'm really happy with what we've achieved so far. So we have the main two um, elements into our filter. Of course, we have our beautiful shiny horns and these gorgeous pitch black wings. Um, now, one extra thing I want to do is to make as true to the character as possible. I want to recreate Maleficent gorgeous makeup look. So if you look at her picture online, you can see she have this signature red ruby lips and beautiful sparkling green eyes, a beautiful soft, very dark purple smoky eyeshadow, as well as for some sort of contouring right here, which is between brown and purple and a very kind of pale greenish skin complexion. Now, for the skin, I don't really want to, um, you know, change it too much. I've just add a skin softening effect because, you know, it always makes look better each filter. So it's right here. I already done it and it's linked to my skin retouching material. So as you can see, you can um, adjust the intensity of your smoothness. Now, I've never personally set it up to the max because it looks too fake, too cartoonish, but something like this, it's nice to have, you know? So that is done as well. And now we can go into Photoshop to start creating our makeup mask. As usual, you know, by using our face asset as a referment point, we can just create a transparent layer and draw our contouring and smoky eyeshadow on top of it and then just save it as a PNG. And then of course we want to recreate those gorgeous green eyes. I've shown you step by step how to do that on my beauty filter class, which is a full class where I really teach you how to achieve every single beauty feature into your filter. And now, as you can see, I have green eyes. And as well for the eyeshadow, I've previously created my eyeshadow mask on Photoshop and now I can just make it visible. So as you can see, I have smoky purple eyeshadow and a bit of soft purple contouring and last things of course are the lips so voila and now we have the complete maleficent look perfect so let's just check really quick of course we will never be as gorgeous as angelina jolie but you know, we are getting close there. Which of course, you know, every little details help you to recreate your filter in a much more authentic way and more accurate, of course. Now, the very last things I would like to add to my filter to make it just perfect. We need to uh, make it a little more moody and more magical. And so I want to kind of add some sort of particles to give that, you know, magic effect in the air. And so let's just go to add object and right on the bottom you have particle system, insert. And you can see your particle showing right here in the middle of your project. So we can start by repositioning, you know, our particles. So I want them to come out from the side of my scene and I'm gonna rotate you know, the emission, just like so. And then we can work on our inspector panel and I'm gonna start by changing the emitter type. I want it on a ring formation because you know, when they come out uh, from a ring formation, they kind of have um, different sizing. So I like to have my particles with mixed size, like smaller and bigger, you know, all together it kind of looks more realistic and natural. And then I'm gonna increase the birth rate. I'm gonna put a hundred. I want a lot of particles. We can always adjust it later. Then I want maybe my spray ankle to go down um, 45 degrees. And also the speed we're gonna adjust. Let's make it slower. And 
and the particle um, lifespan I want much longer maybe let's reduce because I have too many now let's put 30 then we have to make sure our particles are visible here they are but I think maybe let's take away the here it is okay perfect now I have them coming in front of me mm, maybe let's reduce the um, birth rate and let's increase the ring um, radius to 5 okay and also I want them a bit slower okay and maybe we're gonna um, I think the size it's okay we're gonna change the shape so we're gonna choose a sphere and maybe change also the color so create a material uh, we call it sphere So can you see there's different sizing of our spheres so you have very big spheres sometimes popping in front of you and very small one as well so I love because they come out honoring formations and it looks so much better okay so emitter let's see if it's linked yes to the sphere material now we can adjust this material we can change the color and make them um, purple as well and also physically based we can change the opacity of course um, we can make them a bit more sparkling so let's check environment and choose a texture let's choose city okay and play with the rotation they look like soap bubbles okay we can change the blend mode very cute they look like firefly you know those magical kind of fairy glowy um kind of pixie they keep floating in the air in every Disney movie that you can see you know there's always this kind of magical glowy creatures in the forest and you can see it multiple times even into the Maleficent movie so that's the look I'm going for with my environment I want to create the kind of dreamy and very magical feeling and vibe to my filter so I think this kind of do it and maybe we can just increase you know the um, the birth rate if we want to have more of that it kind of look like glitters almost very cute so you can adjust it as you like of course um, and it looks like literally the wind is pushing these magical firefly you know creatures in the air okay perfect I think um, this is it I hope you enjoy this um, filter creation process and if you have any question, please leave a comment down below. I will do my best to answer to all of you. And also, I always enjoy very, very much when you try to interact with me. So please leave a comment. I enjoy making video tutorials for you. But you know, they take me so long to make. And all I'm asking back is for you to just support me if you want me to keep making these type of videos you know so you kind of give me motivation and uh, it's always nice you know to support people that are trying to share good quality content just click the like button subscribe if you didn't yet and don't forget to check out my skillshare account i have four full classes all about filter creations so if there's anything in specific that you want to learn i'm pretty sure i have a tutorial for it so check that out all right guys thanks for watching and i see you in my next one bye